Hello, my name is Aldrich. I'm a second year university student studying mechatronics and robotics in Sheffield. I thought I'd record this sit down video expressing one of the main issues I've been having in quarantine. I've been having a hard time like staying focused and staying consistent on my work. And I've called some of my mates on this and they are having the same issues as well. So I'm asking, oh, yo, why are you having this issue? And then they think, oh, it's because they're home. They just don't feel like it's like a working environment because home is home. And and I completely agree with them. They, they me and what my friends are thinking, they think that work is for outside and not like in the bedroom. Back in uni, I would be going to the gym. I'd be going to the diamond to work or the IC, whichever library is available and I would go shops and get my food or etc etc hang out with friends like all that was a, was a university routine and for me to have gone back home I don't have a routine for uni where I'm working at home I mean if you can relate then that, that's pretty sick like let me know in the comments and tell, and tell me what you've done to um, force yourself to do work because that's what it feels like to me right now like I have to like just force myself to do it like just discipline myself and just say your orders just do it as I said the purpose of this video is to express the problem of working at home and just my my personal struggles of trying to integrate my uni workload with my home life just for me it's just two different things and I want to have two separate locations of that and because of that problem I want to address three things that I've tried to do and it's really helped me stay focused in my work. Quick disclaimer is that these three things may have worked for me but it may not work for you. If I mean if you like one of these things so great try try implement it in your life right now. If not then well, that's calm isn't it? <laughs> no, no harm. The first way that I've tried to tackle this environmental problem is by having a like clean workspace it's really minimal i only keep the things on my desk that i need which is my ipad so i can take notes on i have my to-do list and i have a study lamp if you don't have a study lamp i would highly recommend one because you know every time i see that light i think okay turn on that light on means i gotta do some work and have also having a clean desk has just made things less cluttered you know, less messy and every time I do work, my workspace is a place where I want to work. Like it, it looks nice, it looks aesthetic, so it makes me want to actually sit down and work in a pretty environment. The second issue that I've been having, motivation. My motivation has like went from here in uni to like... To but at the end of the day I've had to build I had to build in that discipline to say yo Aldrich your exams ain't gonna sit themselves um, no one's gonna sit it for you um, you know you are in control of your time and this is what's helped me force myself to do the work pretty much I mean this discipline with this discipline it's built over time now, one of the things that has helped with uh, building that discipline and forcing yourself to do is first knowing what on earth you've got to do. So the second solution is to have a very clear goal. And I do this by having a checklist and writing at the beginning of the day or the day before three things that I want to accomplish in that day. Any three things and you've got to be specific about it. Don't just say revise a topic. Well, what area of that topic do you want to revise? What area do you want to know about more? Don't just say you have you can't keep it general because if it's too general, then the task just looks overwhelming and you wouldn't want to do it. Make it specific so then when you do sit down like me on your desk and then you swivel like right there, you know exactly what you got to do and then just start man if you just just start just uh, that, that, just start <laughs> just do it at the end of the day if you do end up like wasting time or procrastinating or not doing as much as you want to you can you can comfortably say that 
you've done these three things that you were meant to get done just get those just get at least three things and what i do is i normally get these three things done and then on the to-do list i write a fourth thing a fifth thing a sixth thing and everything beyond the, those three items that you've done are like bonuses and this is a good thing that's helped me like feel good about myself and feel better about the work that i've done and i'm not like beating myself up to the ground that you know you're old you didn't do enough work also on top of that knowing having a clear goal is rewarding yourself so every time i put in the work for two hours or four hours six hours eight hours a day or whatever i reward myself do something that you like doing because that's important <clears throat> so the third reason why i think i'm struggling to study at home and like to stay focused is because of my sleeping pattern it is absolutely messed up <laughs> um i am sleeping really late and waking up very late however i am still getting my seven hours of sleep which is important so my advice to you is to find the best times where you work for me i'm a morning person but which is quite funny but because i'm not waking up like super early like you know the youtube videos where like they wake up at half five half half six like nah, not in quarantine i can't do that um because at, at night i mean at night <laughs> I, I, I don't i don't know how to explain it it's just at night <laughs> can you relate I, I really i really can't explain it i think it's just you know there's no reason to wake up so early i guess and there's a lot of reason to stay up late because when you're staying up late you can you've got a lot of free time but the key to this is just getting enough sleep i mean the problem that i'm having yeah it's the sleeping pattern's messed up but accept that it's messed up just as long as you're getting enough sleep and that in the next day you have you have some goals you have that checklist that i've been referring to just just get it done so yeah find the best times that work best for you that you are most productive in may that be morning afternoon night that's something you have to find out yourself one bonus tip as well if you got this far drink a lot of water come on i've had this problem where i'm just in my bed and in here and in the kitchen and in here i forget that i need to drink water back in sheffield i used to have um a solid like like every day i'd always at least drink two liters of water when i'm in home because you know you're not you're not moving much you're just getting out of bed you're standing up brushing your teeth like like going downstairs like you sometimes forget to drink water so please drink plenty of water it does help with your mind and there's also some good benefits to it which i'll let you to research yourself yeah and that that's it um I just thought I'd make this video addressing my struggle with working at home for the past couple of months because of the COVID-19 outbreak. Maybe some of you guys can relate and just, just for this video to show that, hey, working at home isn't for everybody. And it's, I now know that working from home isn't really for me, really. I more prefer to work in the library or in like a ca cafe. Um, although I say that I prefer working in libraries, cafes and stuff, that doesn't mean that I don't work at home. I mean, clearly I'm working at home and I am putting in the work, but it's more of, I have to actually discipline myself to do it. And I, I actually force myself to do the work. And it's, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to make it as, fun as possible but you know it's just quite dead at home to be honest i hope this was valuable in some way shape or form i do hope that if you do have exams still all the best you know yeah it's if you're having this problem let me know in the comments i do want to know if like if more people are experiencing this if you found this video helpful you know consider following me on the gram i been i've been not gonna lie i've been inactive for a while but after exams that's when i'll try post more and post more stories because right now i've just been working on exams 
Uh, anyway, that's been it. That, um, my name's Aldrich. Uh, yeah, safe.